and welcome back to the sew studio my name is lucy my little vlog here is all about sewing things i love to sew little tutorials that i like to teach people to sew and also tips and tricks along the way to help your sewing journey run smoother and for you to learn lots of new things but today i wanted to give my sewing machine a little bit of a clean I've been doing lots of workshops, online workshops recently, which has been fantastic. We've made some gorgeous things and I've met some lovely new sewing ladies to join me in their sewing journeys and learn some new skills and projects along the way. But because we've been doing lots of sewing and I've been sewing with them, my sewing machine could do with a little bit of TLC. And I've recently written a little blog as well about how to keep your sewing at its best, how to stay inspired and motivated. And keeping your machine clean was one of those tips. So I thought I would hop on and share with you today how I just do a really simple little TLC, probably about once a month or sometimes more if I'm sewing fabrics that have got lots of lint or got lots of fibres, loose fibres, so things like felt, hessian, fur, anything like that that's got um, sort of loose fibres on that's going to cause the machine to get really dusty and potentially um, where the bobbin is kept to get all sort of mucky. Okay, so I've moved you a little bit closer to my sewing machine now so you can kind of see what I am doing. First of all, um, I have unplugged my sewing machine. We don't want any trapped fingers, so let's just keep all the electricity out of the way when we give it a clean. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to remove my top thread and I'm going to remove my bobbin from the bobbin casing. Put that aside. And because I've been doing quite a lot of sewing recently, I'm also going to change my needle. So this is just a universal needle I've got in here at the moment, I've been sewing cotton. Um, so I'm just gonna take that needle out and I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's been in there a good few weeks and I've made, been making lots of projects. Now, lots of my sewers ask me how long you should keep your needle in or how often you should change it. Um, there's a few telltale signs that your sewing needle may need changing. One, it may start skipping stitches. You may find that you can sort of almost hear the needle sort of punching through the fabric. And on particular fabrics, slightly more lightweight ones, you might find that the threads start to pull slightly. But if you feel like you've been doing lots of sewing, and if you feel like you can't remember, the last time you change your needle, then it may be worth a little change when you do your little machine TLC. So I've got my new machine needles here. I'm just gonna replace it with a, a universal one for now. I could leave it out altogether until my next sewing project, that's fine as well. And I'm gonna keep my bobbin casing off. I'm gonna pop that aside. The other tools I'm gonna to use today are a little brush to help me get some of this lint out. If you can't find the brush that came with your machine or you don't think your machine had one, a little paintbrush, a clean paintbrush will do the job just the same. And then also to unscrew my metal plates here as I've got a top loading bobbin, I need a little screwdriver. So it may look like a typical screwdriver or you might have a little gadget that looks something like this. If you've got a front loading bobbin, which is underneath, um, in the front here, you're not going to need those screws because you open it right up and you take it out in the front. But this is a top loading um, bobbin case. So I'm also just so you can see probably a bit better going to remove my front of my machine there. So my foot is in the up position at the moment. I've also taken my needle out. There's no threads in here. We're gonna take this casing off before we do anything else and just have a quick little glance and see what it looks like under there. And then we'll go from there whether we need to take anything else out. So I'm just gonna undo the two little screws on this plate. Now it's really important to have somewhere to pop all these little bits and pieces so that you don't lose them. The last thing you want to do is to lose a screw or a bobbin casing or something and you can't put it back together. So just be really careful and have a little pot somewhere where you're not gonna lose it. And you might think that's just totally obvious, but trust me, honestly, all you need is the cat to jump up or something or one of the kids to take your attention and um, bits and pieces can go missing. So I'm unscrewing these. So these little screws, they're sort of little short stubby ones. 
So that's two little screws I've taken out of there. So I can already see some fluff coming out of what, that screw hole there. So that's not good news. And I'm just gonna lift this metal plate off. Now mine just lifts out. You might have a little button that you press to make it pop out. Um, if you're unsure, always refer to your manual. And then I'm just gonna pop that with my two um, screws aside. Now I can see a lot of fluff down there. I'm just gonna give you a close up of how disgusting this looks before I clean it. Okay, here we go. A close up view of all of this muck. Check out all of that fluff going on in there. Yeah, this little machine definitely needs a clean. And all this lint and fluff is literally hiding beneath that metal plate that I've removed, just waiting to catch me on a sewing day when maybe I'm not having a great day or I'm tired because I've been sewing for too long or it's late and it's waiting to catch that thread, give me a tangled mess and just make me wanna scream out loud. So let's clean it out. Let's not give any reason for our thread to catch up, for our material to get stuck, anything like that. Let's clear it out and make it all nice and clean. Okay, so for this job, I'm just gonna use my little brush, which is this one here. This is actually an old um, brush from my Nan's old Singer sewing machine that I don't have any longer, but I just like it. And to be honest, I don't think I got a sewing machine brush, cleaning brush with my current machine. Um, so this is the one that I use, but if you haven't got one, equally use a little clean paint brush. And what I'm going to do is just get in all the little corners before I take anything else out. I'm just going to get in all the little corners, give my brush a little twist and hopefully pick up that lint and dust and then remove it from my brush. And yeah, pop it in the bin. So you, you can do it really gently. It picks up the fluff really, really easily. All the way around the back as well. Twist it down in the little, look at it all. It's actually really satisfying once you do this and you see all the fluff, you're like, yes, I've cleaned him. We wanna try not to flick the dust obviously too much because that's not gonna be good. Cause a sneezing fit or something. And you'll be able to get down and see all behind it. Where it needs cleaning. Look at that. So there's quite a lot in here um, to get out. So what I can also do is I can remove the bobbin casing here. So when you take this out, I would recommend taking a photo of your particular casing on your machine before you remove it so take a quick snap on your phone or tablet um, and then when you go to put it back in if you're like oh crumbs I can't remember which way it went you could just refer back to your picture top tip um, so I can just pull mine out like this it just sits in there basically so I can give this its own little individual clean those little brushes need to be in there that they're part of my little bobbin casing so I can just give that a little dust of its own and then I can then get underneath where that bobbin sits and just give that a good clean as well. Now, you may get tempted to give it a little blow, get all that dust out the way, but honestly, done it before and it just blows everywhere, all in your face. So yeah, I would probably recommend not doing that. So I'm just getting under, oh, oh look, see, here's some. I love it when you find some more, you're like, ooh, it's hiding. Let's get that out. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I find this really satisfying. <laughs> There's some more. So tell me in the comments as well, when was the last time you cleaned your machine? No shame, of course. It's one of those things that we can easily forget. And because you can't see all of this underneath your bobbin casing you know it's so easy to to not think about it yeah so share below and let me know if you have a clean how you got on
so I think that looks pretty good. There might be one little bit under there actually. Let's have a look. No, I think that is pretty good now. Oh, that is looking way better. Let me just give you a little view. Oh, look at that. Much cleaner. And here's what come out. Yuck. So I am now just going to pop that bobbin casing back in. Just make sure that's clean. Just make sure that drops in properly. And then I can put my metal plate back over the top here and then pop my screws back in too. Now, I quite often just start my screws off with my finger. You can kind of twist them a little bit with your finger to get them going. And the other one. And then I'm just going to tighten them up with my little screwdriver device. And now I'm just going to get rid of this fluff as well that I've collected out of my machine straight into the bin that's next to me. So I'm going to replace my needle now. Um, now, my needle's just got a screw here, so I just need to place it up into the little needle shaft and screw it in nice and tight. Now, with uh, changing your needle one of the things you need to think about is you need to make sure that needle is pushed all the way up and stays all the way up as you close it because that can also affect your sewing your stitches as you go um so when you put your needle in now most modern machines um use a universal needle that has got a curved front and a straight back of the needle shaft i don't know if you could just about see that it's got a a straight back which is here and then the rest of it is curved so the straight bit goes at the back and the curved bit goes at the front so I'm going to hold my needle up being careful not to prick my finger at the bottom there and give it a screw and then I'm just going to push it up again before I screw it in really really tightly and then just make sure there's got no movement on that needle up and down so that's my needle back in place. So my light, my sewing machine light is in this part here. It, I can just feel it under here. It's fine at the moment. There's no need for me to change it. But if you did need to change it, I refer to your manual. But you hopefully should have a screw somewhere on this front bit. Mine's in here that you can screw off. And that takes this side panel off. And then I can just replace that bulb as well. But if in any doubt, of course, take your machine to be serviced um, at your local sewing machine shop if they do it to help you out. But mine is fine, so I'm going to leave that here. Now, what I also always do once I've cleaned out my bobbin area is I give it a little run with some um, fabric just to pick up any last little bits of fluff that might be left in there and that I've moved about because I don't want to start sewing my next project and little bits of fluff and lint come up into my stitches. So what I'm also going to do is re-thread um, re my machine top and bottom and have a little trial run and just make sure there's no fluff that comes up. little sewing station now I'm just going to give it, give it a good run um, and just make sure I release any lint or free any dust that I've sort of ruffled up underneath there. I'm just going to start with a straight stitch and I'm 
also going to do a little zigzag stitch as well so my needle moves around slightly so that I can make sure it's clean all over. That looks okay. I'm just going to do a zigzag too. looks nice and clean so that's it that's all I'm going to do I've cleaned my bobbin area out I've changed my needle I'm happy that it's running smoothly and hopefully that's inspired you to go and take a look at your machine and think about the last time you gave it some TLC maybe um, it definitely can have an effect on your sewing and on your stitches so always worth giving it a little clean out every now and again depending on how much sewing you do and maybe you think about your needle as well. When was the last time you changed your needle? And maybe you could do with a fresh one in there too. Well, we're ready to sew. I hope that's in, helped you if you've been thinking about cleaning your machine lately. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.